Hi there, I'm Doug Milburn. I am the founder of Advanced Glazings Limited and we're the maker of Solera, uh, light diffusing glass for architectural daylighting. And I'm here with Sarah Ripley. And Sarah, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, so uh, I'm a physicist at Advanced Glazings. I work with the research and development team, um, working on various, various projects uh, that pertain to the development of Solera. And I also spend a lot of my time uh, working with clients uh, and architects on uh, radiance modeling, daylight modeling. So radiance, what, what is radiance? Yeah, so radiance is a ray tracing software developed by the people at uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. So what it does is it models daylighting inside of an architectural space. And we use it to make radiance models, which are uh, renderings of your space um, that show, that give a visual and quantitative representation of your daylight in your space. Okay, right on. Um, from what I understand, and I'm not a user of it, but long time familiar, uh, it's tough. It has a learning curve to it. Yeah, it, it definitely does. Um, it's it's not uh, GUI. It has a, uh, it's all it's all command line stuff. Um, so we've kind of, we've developed a expertise to it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and it's freely available. It's, o it's open source. It was developed by U.S. government, and, and anybody can use it. But right. yeah, it's but it's a long, long learning curve, uh, and highly technically credible as well, right? This right. Is, is, is scientifically accurate. Yes. Yeah. Th thus, the fact that we have you as a physicist doing this. Right. Okay. So our clients at uh, Advanced Glazings and, and users of Solera, their goal is it's pretty much a uniform goal. They want to create spaces that are full of. Of, of highly functional natural light, right? Because it, it just makes the space more beautiful, more functional. That's right. When you try to design the natural light, uh, light because you're working with these uh, with these people all the time, there's a bunch of pitfalls that they can fall into, correct? That's correct, yeah. And so that's where uh, the benefits of modeling come into play. They can um, see for themselves what it will look like before the building is actually built and then at that point it might be too late. Yeah, absolutely too late. Once you build the building and it's got glare and it's making everybody miserable in there, you're calling in the contractor to put window film up or That's something right, yeah. or yeah, or putting blinds up where there wasn't supposed to be blinds and away goes the daylighting, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, un unhappy clients and, uh, and a failed daylighting scheme. But in your world, uh, in the modeling world, uh, you can make all the mistakes you want, right? That's right. Yeah. 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 A little more work for you. You got to go back and do yeah. some more modeling, but uh, <laughs> but you're having fun, so yeah, all's good. Yeah, for sure. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Much better way to uh, much better place to stumble. Yeah. Yeah, and it really let let you modeling really let you get to an optimized, truly optimized design. Exactly. So so let, let let's just go over an example here, and uh, let's look at a couple of photos. So. This is, an example, this is a sample output from a project a long time ago, and I should be well before you joined the company. Um, this was a, a prototype of a college library that was built in the Midwest. And the space so was a library and a reading and working area, and they wished to put a skylight over the whole, the, the whole roof. And when they came to us, uh, they were looking at putting vision glass in there. And if we look at this, you can see clearly one side is under crisp, uh, bright sunlight, and the other area is shadowed. And that's not very good light, is it? No, no, that's not very good light at all. And on top of that, um, the sunlight coming in is not only adds glare, but it's probably pretty hot. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And so the scheme that the client was going after was they were considering tinting that down so that the glare wouldn't hurt anybody. But when you take that down, you're also dialing down the shadows. So it's getting darker in the shadows. So guess what? You need the lights on in the shadows. And then, uh, so you've just defeated your whole daylighting scheme. On top of that, we uh, the other thing when you use dark tints, um, permanent late November. And, uh, and and gloom and doom, right? That's right, yeah. Yeah, nobody wants to be sitting around uh, looking at gloom and doom. And uh, it, it is depressing to be in a building that's that's built with uh, with tints that are too heavy. So, a little bit of radiance modeling, 
and we change the um, glazing from vision glass to Solera. There's no real view up there. Nobody looks at the clouds and the uh, and the birds up there in normal circumstances. And what's this next picture showing? Yeah. So yeah. what is, so what what do we see on the, so on this rendering we see? What? Yeah. So we see um, like uniform soft gentle daylight throughout the whole the whole space. Um, you can imagine sitting there reading a book. You don't need any artificial lighting. Um, it just it's a it feels good to be in the space. Um, it's just yeah a great place to be. Um, yeah, great place to to learn. Right on. Yeah. And and that's what our clients are after, isn't it? To right. to, to create great spaces with daylight within the practical constraints that they have. Yeah, yeah and Radiance, obviously, you look at those photos, and Radiance is just an awesome tool for being able to see that, being yeah. able to see the impact of design, design decisions like that. For sure, yeah. Okay, so if, if I am somebody uh, who wishes to, uh, and I'm trying to design a daylighted building, and I'm looking at Solera as a solution to that, that age-old problem in Claire, the thing that defeats so many daylighting schemes, and I come along and I said, yeah, I'd like some help. Um, I'd, I'd like some help uh, with my design. I'd like to get some visualization um, then and, and some daylight modeling. Tell me, y you guys do it for free, correct? For people who are correct. seriously considering Solera? Yeah. Yeah. So what do I have to give you? Uh, yeah, so we use uh, AutoCAD for our modeling. Our clients use all different types of formats, uh, so anything anything interchangeable um, okay. with AutoCAD. So I come into a DXF or I can go right into DWG. Right, right? yeah. And good, yeah, okay. Um, what about the space? So, I mean, so much is done in 3D these days. Right. And uh, are there any things I gotta watch, you know, when I make a model? Is there anything I put in it that can make life difficult for you when it's modeling? Um, yeah, like like I said, any any, minute details like if you're if you have a gymnasium for example and then you have a, a light switch in the gymnasium um, it's nothing that's not really um, relevant to the daylighting of the space okay. um, and it can make it just more complicated to model uh, for like the software okay. um, yeah so try okay. to stay away from that okay so the rendering engine has to treat every right the, everything so yeah, uh, yeah an unnecessary detail takes up the rendering time, I think. Is that correct, Donna? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, it blows yes. up the time yeah. on it. So what would you do in that case if somebody did give you something that had too much detail in it? Uh, we usually end up removing a lot of the detail. Okay. Yeah. And while, while trying to keep the essence Trying to of keep the, the essence of the space. Yeah, sometimes we, like if we have a classroom, um, we might add desks to it to make it look, to give more of an idea of what the space will actually look like. Um, or if we're, we have a gymnasium, we might put in bleachers or something like that. But uh, yeah, usually bigger objects. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Keep away from minutia. Okay, so I send this off to you. So I come up with my design. I got my dream daylighted space and I have my hypothesis about where I can use Solera to, to bring light in that. And I send you in an appropriate CAD file and uh, lighten the details. And what should I expect back when the modeling's done? Okay, so, so yeah, you get... Um you get renderings of your space, uh, and the renderings, um, they really give a, an idea of how it feels to be in that space. Uh, yeah, so they're subjective um, to the client. Okay, uh, well, and, and which is incredibly important to, to get, you know, we design spaces, yeah, and of course everybody designs buildings is familiar with doing renderings, but to actually render the daylighting and feel the daylighting in there, it's a whole new dimension, isn't it? That's right, yeah. yeah. So what about if I want something more quantitative, um, you know, I'm thinking, say, I'm, I got a specification, I'm designing a school, and I got a specification for daylight in the, on, the, on, the, on the boards or something like that. Can, can you guys deal with that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we also um, offer uh, false color renderings that give, um, that show the illuminance levels within a space. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. And over those two, we really get a sense of, where the pitfalls are, the pitfalls are is, is, is parts that are too dark That's right. and parts that are too bright, like the, 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 the monster, glare. the glare That's monster, right. yeah, yeah. that the, the defeats projects, yeah, yeah. And uh, we can always fix up, you know, in a real world, in an ideal world, we'd be daylighted everywhere, but we can fix up places that are a little too dark with a touch of supplemental lighting, especially if it's back, if it's controlled automatically. 
and uh, but glare we can't fix, can we? It's, that's right. You know, glare is built into the space. We, we, we try to fix glare, we depower the whole thing. So mm -hmm. that's really the monster we have to we have to watch for, isn't it? So Sarah, this is uh, you know it's, it's an interesting thing you do here. You know, you get to be part of there's a whole movement in the world towards natural lighting which is wonderful for both the human side of it and you know as well as the fact that it's it's more energy efficient and a much more sensible way to to, to build buildings and you get to experience other people's buildings as you model them yeah you know, before they're built yeah absolutely it's it's a it's a very special uh feeling to be involved in that way um especially i've been in a few of our buildings uh myself um that are naturally daylit, and um, it just yeah, it's such a good feeling. So it's it's really um, it feels really good to help other people experience that as well. Right on, awesome. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with us. No problem. Thanks for having me.